everyone, it's Nicole, and I'm here. I said a few month, or a few weeks ago that I would do a video on how to make your own gelato mist. And so what you need is, well, I have this gelato, gelato tool set, and I got this. It's from Faber-Castell, and I got it at Simon Says Stamp, and it has this little uh, dropper here. And you could mix it right in there, but I want to make more than one. So I went ahead and got myself some mini misters from Ranger. There's three here, and um, I, I have some more somewhere else, but I'm just going to do two or three right now. And this tool is great, the palette knife for cutting the gelato. And then I just got this at uh, the dollar store. It's just to mix it in, um, just so it doesn't make too much of a mess. And then you just got a regular mister with water. So the first thing I'm going to do this weekend, I just want to share um, this page. I'll probably share it tomorrow. I'm going to try and share it tomorrow. Today's Monday, March 2nd. This weekend was like a mixed media uh, weekend. So this is the background that I worked on with gelatos and some rub-ons and some stamping. And and uh, so I want to make some gelatos uh, miss to go on top of this. And then... Um, the paper dolls uh, from Prima, Julia, Julie Nutting. And I did this one just as a practice, but it's the wrong color. So now I did this with watercolor. Now I'm going to do some with um, some gelatos. So in the same color so that it coordinates. But that was sort of a, you know, a play to, to kind of learn from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a chunk and this is just um, a stamping block. So I'm going to take a chunk and then I'm just going to take the end of a paintbrush just to kind of mush it up. And I'm going to try a couple of things. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that it's on different videos, like different takes. So if it doesn't work, then, you know, I'll just share in my process video what I tried and it didn't work. But I don't want it to be all in this and then it doesn't work. And So what you want to try to do is to make a paste with your gelato. So you just keep, you don't want to make it too watery. Just want to make a paste. And the thing is, is what you're trying to do right now is all those little flakes of color, you want to dilute it. Like you want it so that it's it's now a liquid and and not little grains of gelato because what's going to happen is when you try to spray it through your sprayer, it's going to clog it up. So you don't want that. So that's why I'm doing this on the stamping block and not in here because I want to make sure that I get all the all those little things all diluted. So it's going to take me a few minutes to make sure that I at least you get the big chunks. Okay, and this is the first time I'm doing this, so it's not as if I practice and now I'm you know doing so this is the first try I thought I would do it on video first time I'll tell you uh, what I want to do is I'm going to do some with just gelatos and water and create a mist but gelatos is a kind it's kind of a kind of paint right like paint and a stick <laughs> so I want to try and use some different mediums and add them in there and see um, see what we can get from that so I don't want to add a lot at once I just want to because you don't want to make it too too watery and then it doesn't work
just make sure you mix it up nice and oh and that color is like purple <laughs> kind of messy but it's okay mixed media is kind of messy anyway right it's not like your clean scrapbooking layouts so now I'm going to take my dropper and I'm going to put it in my little mini mister. I think I can probably add a little bit more water. It doesn't look like a lot of water for the amount of paste that I had. And see there's still more there. Let's see if I get try to get it to go in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up after in the bottle. So I'm going to shake the bottle and, and get some more. Okay. Now where's the... There it is. So let's shake this up. And then if you don't find that it's purple enough, you can always, you know, crush some more. I know I can get a little bit more off that. Okay. Now, here's some watercolor paper. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. So that was one way to... Um, make some mist with your gelatos and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try different ways and I'm just going to do it in different clips and if it works I'll just attach it to the all the same video so you don't have to look at you know 10 different videos for the second one I'm still going to take a gelato and this is in the pink I don't know it might be watermelon maybe so I'm going to take a chunk oh. And then where's my brush? Try to could even use this if you wanted to. Mm, yeah, doesn't work very well. The end of this paintbrush seems to be better for that. I'm just gonna really crush it up as much as I can. Then I'll add the water. And then I'll try to blend it I guess as much as I can you could use like a little uh, palette too like you know with the little wells I have one somewhere couldn't put my hands on it right now and I didn't want to waste you know half an hour looking for it so I was just like oh just use a stamp and block and and just get it done because otherwise by the time I would find it I would wouldn't feel like doing this anymore so so it is kind of I guess difficult not difficult, I guess, but just time-consuming to get this gelato to okay. Don't want to get it too watery before I get it into my container because then I won't be able to oh, there's so much on here Stampin' block was stuck. So I guess what you could do is just start it out 
and then move it over to your little container or whatever you're going to you know stir it in because the stamping block is good to start it out but as soon as it gets too too liquid then it just makes a mess Just leave that for that. If I need more, then I'll know where it is. Okay. Just gonna add a little bit of water. And dilute it some more. I don't know what that is. It's a little black fleck in there. There. Now, oops. The thing I wanted to try with this one. It's not diluting very well. The thing I wanted to try with this one was to add some matte medium. Or maybe some acrylic matte. But this one looks way thick. And this one looks a little bit more fluid. But I think I'm going to try the acrylic fluid or the acrylic medium because it's to turn things into like acrylic paints. I, I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to try not to. just put like one little oops one little drop in there now I think what it's going to make it um, first of all it makes it a whole lot like thicker I like that and it's way more um, yeah it looks like paint I like it. I think what I'm going to try to do too is, oh, and it dissolves much better. Let's see how it sprays. Because uh, when I bought this, it was, um, you know, it said to make, basically to turn in anything into an acrylic paint. So I thought, ooh. That'd be awesome because I got those color uh, from Marion Smith, that color lab, which I haven't played with yet. I figure doing this though, it's going to make me make me want to play with it, and that's why I got those little containers too, is because I want to make. I don't want to just make sprays with those. I want to make. Um, other medium to use on my scrapbook layouts and I want to have those little containers with resealable tops so that I can use them over and over and over again I think this is the top that goes to this one and I'll might try with the matte medium too and see now, as they say, the moment of truth. What it made it, it made it way pa more pastel y and more paint like, too. So it's probably. Oh, yeah, I like it. That is cool. So I like that. I like making um, sprays with your gelatos. So if I. Um, try something else I'll um, I'll make sure to film it and uh, so I can share with you so thanks for watching bye